please, uh, what's your good name and tell us uh, where you're from. Yes, I'm Jude Thaddeus. I'm uh, an African from Uganda, East Africa. Okay. Mm. Uh, good to have you in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. Today, we're going to be asking a few questions regarding what we see happening right around here. Okay. Yeah, I see a lot of people here with a lot of luggages, mm. and I don't know what is happening. I only saw on social media that uh, people have been evacuated mm. without uh, even paying for their tickets, without documents, people are evacuated back home. Mm. Uh, please, can you tell us a little you know about this, since you are always here, Mr. Tibos? Yes, uh, today is 14th, and uh, I think this thing started on 12th. Okay. And uh, I had... The CIDs, the police, they came here. Normally here, there are policemen who normally watch over this place. Okay. So they were trying to chase some people away from this area. Okay. And uh, as you know, this area, uh, it is always crowded with some Africans, especially Ugandans, who come to take money okay. on their mobile phones from their country. Because when they send you here, you must pick it from these people. Okay. And the police was trying to say, no, you people, you leave this place. We don't want anybody here. Yeah. So for this area here where we are standing right now, they managed to send them away. But on the other opposite side, uh, where people had have luggages, actually people sleep there, used to sleep there. They have luggages, bed sheets before they were there like that. So those people refused to go. So when the police insisted with the CIDs, the people told them we can't go anywhere because we we are stuck in this country. We cannot go out. Even now, we, we have nowhere to go. So uh, for that reason, uh, the police and the CIDs, they return like after an hour, then they told them, now, you people, if you say you are stuck, uh, how many of you want to return to your countries? Yeah. Over, almost everybody said, ah, we want to go. They said, okay, now let us organize for transport. We take you to deportation centers. So right away, the buses started taking people. I had six buses on that same day, 12th. Yeah. They took people with their luggage okay. at Terminal 2 deportation center. Okay. Yeah, but what I don't know, what I have not inquired, so what far, is... So good. What is Anybody happening? Anybody has from, actually got to their home country yet? The news I'm getting now, yeah. I think nobody have gone to Africa. They are still there at okay. the terminal two. Okay. Yeah. Even yesterday, I passed here. Yeah, but was the same thing done yesterday? Which yes, is, uh, very many people with bags. They are came from, back here again yesterday. Not same people. Yeah. New people from bed spaces, yeah. from Ajumani, yeah. Sharjah. They were here coming. Yeah. Okay. And today we still have more people still coming. Yeah, still so more people. So it means a lot coming. of people are here, mm. and there are no jobs, mm. and uh, they want to go home. Okay. Uh, my question is, mm. why are people leaving Africa every day? Uh, people are leaving Africa because of the this uh, global economic crisis. Okay. For me, I won't blame because for me I was a businessman before, so I won't blame it on any political whatever system or failure. Because you remember, before two years we had COVID. Yeah. Like in my country, we were on lockdown for two years. Yeah, in Africa we have problems, but even that one yeah. increased the whole issue. So after the COVID, people had hopes of working and the whole economy was down. Yeah. So these agents took advantages of telling people that our Dubai is better. If you go to there, you can get a job of five million, which is around $1,000, yeah. 1500 So many people paid money expecting to come here and uh, get, jobs. get jobs, which is not the case. Even this place, it has no jobs. Even the people who have jobs, some of them. I have very many guys in Transgard. Transgard yeah. is one of the companies here which recruits small people. And it pays. And it pays, but yeah. not big money, small money, okay. around... Uh, one hundred fifty dollar. Yeah, that's the salary they are giving here. Okay. So, even Transgard right now it is laying off many people. Okay. They are asking many people to return back home, as they have no jobs themselves. Okay. Yeah. So the whole issue and the truth, there is no jobs here. If you don't have job here, you can't survive. Yeah. Everything is expensive here. Okay. Mm. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. 
Uh, on this platform, we just try to educate people about what is happening, mm -hmm. uh, experience of Africans in diaspora, because mm -hmm. you know most people want to travel mm -hmm. and they don't know what is really happening on the other side. Mm -hmm. I came here not having any knowledge about Dubai, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sure by sharing this will help someone to get uh, in a better position. So thank you so much for having you. Welcome, and, uh, I would like to have you some other time on my channel. Welcome, thank you so bro. much. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Called Nixon. Nixon? Yeah. I'm, Where I are you am, from? Uh, I'm from Uganda, Africa, okay. East Africa. OK. Yeah. So uh, what do you know about the situation happening here? No, I came quite low not knowing the situation, okay. but yeah, I've just got the information around here. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing people have packed their things that are trying to go back home. Okay. Now the government of Dubai they are decided today to give uh, all people okay. so that they can go back their home because okay. according to the situation happening right now in Dubai, Dubai doesn't need someone who's not working. Okay. People have gone oversteer. You understand that, all right? People have gone oversteer, and uh, the, 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 the government of Dubai doesn't people to overstay in Dubai. You okay. understand? So that's why they, they want to reduce the number so that they can go in their home, they live peacefully. Okay. Because, you know why I'm talking like that? People in Dubai, if you are here in Dubai not working, the life is going to be more difficult. You have been seeing my sisters, all Ugandan ladies, all Ugandan guys, they are sleeping outside on the streets. And it really it's not good. I'm working. No, me, I'm not going back home, but I know my fellow Ghanaians, all my fellow Kenyans, all African guys, but they are suffering. Dubai needs when you are working. If you are not working, it's, the life is going to be more difficult. Even Maktoum, the owner of Dubai, said if you are in Dubai, you, when you are not uh, accountable for earning maybe 5,000 and above, you will not survive in Dubai. So the, the situation has gone worse, I'm telling you. People are suffering, they don't have what to eat, they don't have water, they are sleeping on the streets. The, the situation is very terrible, I'm telling you. I, I, I am not saying that I'm um, lying, you can even see the situation, uh, even uh, the crowd, uh, all people are going back home. It's not the, the, that the, the, it's the situation that forces you to go back home. All right. People, Thank you so much. People are yearning to go back home. That, that, what they would have is uh, for Mayfield Africans, yeah. if you have a chance right now for going back home, it's the right thing to use, you go back home. I, I think they, they are just going to give them one of like you know, six months, then you renew your visa, then you come back, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the, this chance you have to use to go back home, then and replan you said, yourself. Nah, replan yourself, then and you come. come. Because the situation here is very difficult, I'm telling you. All right. So the what I should so do, much. I, I advise them. Yeah. If you have a, this chance, you should use this chance to go back home, relax. You know, Dubai is very stressful, I'm telling you. You see the how. How long have you been here? No, I've been here like for three years. Mm -hmm. I'm working, but I, I also face the challenges. Uh, the, it's very hot. Dubai is very hot. You cannot manage with these temperatures, and if you are not working, yeah. the things have gone worse. I'm telling you. So they should, you should go back and uh, say to yourself that if you want to come, you, you come. Dubai needs someone who's working. Thank you, very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So it's I'm good to have you. I'm called Nixon. Nixon. I greet all my people. All Big right. up.